Hey, what's up everyone? So back with another video. Today is pretty much a stock update. And you know what? You might get a little inkling on some of the videos that are coming up. You guys might have noticed the mermaid stuff sitting on the floor here. Yes, we were filming parts of the mermaid video right now. So we know we had a bunch of people here. That's why the pond is all tore up because we had a bunch of people swimming it in there. But my dad and Reaper threw some primrose in there and it seems to be growing pretty good. So we might be phasing out, you know, the pothos and doing primrose all across the back. We're doing a test subject here and seeing how it grows before we go ahead and implement it throughout the entire pond. All right, update on the white diamondback sturgeon. He is doing, he or she is doing great, eating well in here. Seems to be making a good uh, life for himself in this 750 gallon tank. Um, she's probably at the 27 inch range or so. Um, all she does all day is swim around. So we have her front and center here ever since we Fix the problem with, with the skylight. The tank has been much more enjoyable, so I am lo loving that. And of course, he's got all the friends, with all the goldfish, the koi, the you know high fin banded sharks, stuff like that. Uh, this tank gets fed a mixture of sinking and uh, floating pellets, as well as you know a little, little bit, bit of shrimp and stuff here and there. So we want to keep the sturgeon on a high protein diet. But you guys keep asking for updates, so today is the video of updates. I'm gonna go around and give you guys updates on all the fish you've been asking about, and then uh, I can start working on editing this mermaid vi video. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. All right, we got Morla back here. Let me get this out of the way. She eats so well, I have no problems with her eating what whatsoever. Every time I throw in there, I throw a, a filet or two or three, and she gobbles them right up. She loves, you know, the stiller water. So that's why, you know, we've got a, fil a filter in here. It's an FX4. It's plenty enough for, for her tank and her habitat. She doesn't really move much. If you guys are thinking this is small for her, she really does not move much. She doesn't need much. We did not get it around to her outdoor enclosure this year, so maybe next year. But Morla is completely fine in this tub for now. All right, here we go. We're back here in the koi pond. You guys can see there's a paddlefish right there. The pond is uh, looking pretty clear for how much it, it rained yet yesterday. Let's just see if we can get some good looks at these paddlefish. I really don't like the glare on this water. There goes two right there. Bam. You just see black silhouettes of them, but now you can see the outline, the shape, the, the length. There is seven of them in here. They are all doing great. I have not had a tr trouble with them. We haven't had one pass. We were uh, worried about sticking them in here in, in the first place because we just did not know. But they seem to be thriving and doing wonderful. There goes one coming up top right there. Look at them. They are actually probably looking for some food right now. So I'm actually going to go down there. There's, there's the smallest one. I'm going to go down, down there with a bucket of feed. And let's see if we can uh, get these guys to come up and flip over and feed on video. Okay, here we go. You can see big one there. Two, three. As long as I keep the reflection off of the camera, you can see them just fine. There goes two, three, bam. These guys are so awesome. So I am stepping out onto the side rocks of the pond here, trying to get you guys some good footage of it. There goes one swimming up here. Bam. I know it's a little bit hard to see guys, but bear with us. There's four, there's five I see right there in that group. So they are in, in, in here. They are just spread out a bit. My, my dad has this as sort of like a net natural pond, so it's never going to go clear like the one in the inside. Now what I would like to do eventually is get it looking like the front pond up front and have this actually so crystal clear to the bottom 
but to do that you then have to finish all this landscaping up here and get that covered up so every time it rains you're not washing dirt down from that hill into this pond you actually have to direct the water away from it up oh, there goes a big one all right let's see these guys definitely want some food let's see if we can get them to eat we got bucket of what is this this is the koi food that uh our buddy omar sent sent into us here we go let's go ahead and throw some more in let's uh, see you'll see the paddlefish come up and start feeding they'll actually flip over and it is one of the neatest things you will ever see that's the koi flipping up and over there's a bunch more let the splashing calm down you can see the koi feeding pretty cool there's a ton of koi in here you just see them coming up out of the depths in the deepest part it is uh, five foot deep there goes a big paddlefish right there I want to see one come up and flip over and eat my dad was out here the other night and seen them just tearing after the, 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 the pellets so I won't want to see it firsthand I've seen one eat one time I know they're filter feeding in here oh there goes a big one coming up look at him come on get some food buddy you know you want it look at him look at him he's gonna do it he's gonna do it come on buddy uh, they, they look like a platypus that they've got got that whole big bill on them and it's just totally fascinating absolutely love the, the, these fish and they should be 100% okay with uh, over over winter in, in this pond it is deep deep enough so we should be good to go with this come on guys They are super active right now, I will say that. But they are being just a little bit shy. You can see the whole top of the water is riddled with water, let lettuce, water hyacinth, stuff like that. There's pond lilies everywhere, koi everywhere. There's another big paddlefish doesn't look like they want to eat right now they might come up and eat a little bit later they might be filter feeding in full but they keep tricking me there's four or five I see six it's hard to see all seven in the same frame but they are in here big guy coming up right here so the longest one's about three foot there's two right there Super neat fish. They, they swim just like a shark. Actually, fun fact, they were once classified as a shark. So, you know, way back in, in the days, they were classified as an actual shark. Fun fact of the day. All right, we're going to go in and get you some updates on some other cool, awesome fish. All right, here's a little update on the Amara. Let's go ahead and pull this out the way. Look at him. He put on a little bit, bit of length and girth, but he is a lot less timid. I will tell you that much. Uh, we are just about ready to give him a tank upgrade. I got to figure all this out because there's a few guys that are much needed for a tank up upgrade. So we'll definitely be moving some stuff around, but I want to get this bad boy in a tank to where we can show him off because being down here on the ground, is not very great all right we've got these guys over here of course the fogo bass are colored up and looking amazing these red tears are feste look at the colors on them absolutely stunning fish but they have to go through quarantine you can see some stuff on, on their sides nipped fins they will get healed up in no, no time but you know everyone has to go through that quarantine process we've got some fish down here you guys remember the little sturlet sturgeon that came in he's do do doing well along with the uh dorados i still have in this tank they are e eating well and doing great so soon this guy can be moved to the goldfish tank with the other sturgeon 
All right, you guys ask every Friday, what's going on with the Goonch? Here is Mr. Goonch. He is getting fat. He's big. He's lo loving his life. He gets fat all the freaking time. So he is definitely stacking on some weight. Absolutely love this fish. He is one of my favorites. But right inside that mouth are some hellacious teeth. So he is probably at the 28 inch mark right now. Let me go and put my hand down by him. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Beautiful fish. Absolutely love this guy. There we go. Oh. Yep, he kind of gonna freaks out. I don't like reaching it in there and gr grabbing him, but he is getting rather massive. So that is it for the updates on the, these guys. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of fish moved around in the next uh, couple of vi videos. This weekend is going to be a big, you know, moving fish weekend where we actually come in and figure out what we're actually do doing. But you guys stay tuned. The mermaid video is not far out. So hope you guys enjoyed the little update on the uh, few fish that, that I showed you. We will catch you guys in the next video. Stay fishy, my friends.